Hey there, it's Fresh Mark Sense with another fresh review. Ooh, sorry, Zest for Life. Today I'll be talking about a little bit of saffron going a long way in your fragrances. These are fragrances that I like warm gourmand scents, something with a little bit of sweetness, um, unusual, exotic, um, spicy, and uh, quite seductive when used in the right way. A little bit of searing heat with a sweet undertone of uh, resins almost uh, in the scent of saffron. So it can be quite hot, it can be uh, spicy, resinously sweet, but it generally has quite an exotic and um, Far Eastern feel to it. So let's get into these fragrances. The first one that I want to mention is Instant Crush by Mansira. Now this is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540, but it does it very well. It still retains the sweet, toasted, honey-like almond note with the sugary cane, sugary or sugar cane note, um, to provide something very uh, sweet, toasted almond, um, bittersweet. The saffron in it provides not too much heat but more of a resinous sparkling um sparkling ambery characteristic provides a nice warming glow about it it's contrasted with ambiguous as in the original 540 baccarat rouge but i, I feel that this is a lot longer lasting because uh, i sprayed just a little bit on my arm over here and this lasts for about nine hours easily, uh, easily into the next night. This is a great scent for uh, projecting a warm, um, sugary, sweet uh, saffron note that will definitely get you noticed. Great unisex fragrance as well for women as well. If you want to wear this, don't be shy because this is very sweet candy like and it will last you throughout the day. So great date night fragrance for both genders actually marketed as unisex i think it's right in the middle instant crush by mansira a great warming saffron fragrance the next fragrance brings into play unusual notes of pear raspberry oud and some cypress wood this uh, opens up with uh, pear saffron and it has middle notes of bulgarian rose some oud in the base but i think when you spray this on you get that slight sour fresh contrast going on there's a freshness and sweetness from the pear and the creaminess from bulgarian rose which makes it slightly powdery and uh, a little bit feminine in the opening but that is spiced up with some I don't know what spices they used it feels like there's a bit of cumin and there is so there's some cumin and there's almost like a honeyed tobacco like oud going on it's not barnyard it's not um, too strong but it has a dry bitter feel with that uh, sweetness of patchouli lifting up again so it has that sour sweetness and the saffron in here provides a resinous uh, crystal like um, almost a droplet of amber just a tiny bit of uh, sweetness sprinkled on top of this sour and woody concoction the heat from uh, the saffron comes out and is uh, made hotter by the contrast of pear so the hot note and the sweet note of pear creates a sour and woody fresh slightly creamy uh from uh, i believe there's some bergamot in here but i think the creaminess comes mainly from the bulgarian rose which is almost almost like a pink rose vibe but it's made uh, sour fresh and a little bit spicy by all that's going on with the saffron, the sweet patchouli, the oud note, which is bitter and dry, woody. It's got a lot going on, 
definitely check that one out if you want something warm unusually sweet and intriguing gucci intense oud one that i use quite regularly is tom ford noir extreme i use this when i want to bring about uh, a festive slightly cool yet sweet atmosphere because it has the cooling note of pistachio kulfi the bulgarian rose keeps it a little bit creamy the saffron gives it some sweet um some um some sweet spiciness along with the cardamom to keep it aromatic uh aromatic sweet spicy in a resinous way and it definitely has that sparkling almost uh it's, it's almost truffly in its creaminess, but that is from the pistachio gulfi. And it definitely has the warming, the, the warming characteristics of cardamom and saffron. It has the cooling and smooth characteristics of the sandalwood and the pistachio ice cream. So very smooth, very sweet. And it's got some heat. Just a little bit of heat from the saffron, but mainly coolness from that rose, the sandalwood and the pistachio ice cream, which is very creamy and um, very soft and alluring. A great nighttime scent and going out scent. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, it's not actually, it's not too heavy to wear in summer either. So it's a great summer night fragrance as well. This is um, pretty much all seasons is good. So uh, apart from high heat let's say high heat in spring so definitely check that one out for all years uh tom ford no wife stream you've heard about it before but that's probably for a reason because it is very good this one and i just have to recommend that again sorry if you've heard that one before from somewhere else but it's a good one so i'm gonna bring it to you the next one ultra male this this is amazing when i smell it first time in the store the the caraway and cinnamon together uh, with that dark ambery dark vanilla feel provided something cool like the midnight sky has that uh midnight sky dark airiness like opium pour home another one that has that is armani odin wheat but this has a slightly uh spicy dandy gentlemanly feel it's um it's uh, bordering unisex in its sweetness, but if a woman were to wear the caraway and the spiciness of cinnamon and the dark and the dark vanilla, maybe a bit um, may come off as a bit too masculine. But when worn on a man, the caraway and the the caraway, the cinnamon add some sweetness uh, to the usual uh, musky scent. The pear opens it very the pear and bergamot opens it creamy and sweet then it gets caramelized by that cinnamon and the vanilla and dark ambery notes which give it a caramel spiced facet with the carnation which is a slightly fiery red flower that has a powdery a powdery light um, warming spice around about it mixed with the caraway seeds the caraway seeds are put in bakery bread to give aromatic finish so sweet spicy a little bit creamy and aromatic from the bergamot and the caraway seeds and then we go into the dark amber that dark vanilla all of that together produces a a very enveloping cloud the ciliage on this is great um, it's about two meters to the end of the room. I've sprayed it. Uh, the first time I sprayed it, uh, I sprayed it upstairs in, it was like, um, it was in a house and it was on the stairway and I was smelt downstairs when, um, a friend just opened the door and came in. So that was, that was great. So I got a compliment before I was even seen. So uh, I don't really count them, but moments like that which really count how far the ciliage is and the like. And um, if it's a random person, then then I definitely remember it. So yeah, this is a fantastically sweet, alluring, powdery, uh, cinnamon, 
scent, cinnamon, dark amber and vanilla scent uh, with a creaminess and sweetness of pear and bergamot. Next one, we are getting the rich fragrances out. Yes, I don't usually do this, but when it comes to the rich fragrances, this is uh, when we go for about one pound per milliliter. This is the upper limit of the budget because I don't want to promote fragrances that are more than one pound per milliliter because then you get into wasting money on brands like Creed Aventus that are just sort of brand on top of brand on top of brand and then you get that iphone effect where everybody's just buying the next iphone because it's the next iphone rather than if it's good or not and uh, objecting objectively um judging it for its value rather than just the brand per se so this is something that is worth every penny <laughs> um this is Charm de Orient by Abdul Samdal Qureshi. This is a honeyed, fruity, floral oud with the spicy sweetness of cardamom and saffron. Saffron is noticeable. It comes off as a little bit of a boozy vibe as well. Like it has a sort of whiskey vibe. Let me, let me try and I'll spray that. It is quite a decent spray. I'm not going to do a huge spray, but it would hit this bit. Oh, it hit. Oh, God, it hit the. Yeah, it definitely did hit that. All right, it's all, it's all in my thumb. But, uh, sir, wow, that is a lot of fragrance in one palm. You get the fruity apple note in the top, a little bit of cinnamon sweetness. The honeyed oud comes in with some sweet patchouli woods. Very um, nice, sweet. Um, amber that smells almost nutty like a uh, almond nut because that's a bitter sweetness about it along with the honey dude uh, that green sweet apple note and then the general fruity notes come out which smell a little bit like peach peach grape apple some grapefruit tiny bit of lemon And there's a sweet powdery note that I feel is almost like violet. But there's just a touch before it gets sweeter because of the uh, patchouli wood. And it gets woody, honeyed, fruity. And that oud, the oud that's in here, is a light, it, it's a, well, it's a, it's a solid oud. But it's not fecal or barnyard in any way. It just has that dry, bitter, uh, light white wood feeling. Like a white wood. Like a dry, bitter white wood. Mm. And a slight whiskey note, which makes it a little bit boozy. So that is the bottle. That is the fragrance. Abdul Samdul Qureshi's Charm de Orient. Whoa, check that one out. That is actually, I got it for £81 for 90 milliliters. Nowadays, you can only get the half size one in the shop, but I'd recommend you go online and try and find it cheaper. But wow, it's, uh, it's picking up in price. I think it doubled in price since i actually bought it and now they only do the half size one so um that is one to look out for if it's at a good price and the last one this is a dua fragrance flagship 2 is the second fragrance that made it big let's say by dua as they say on the website this has notes of saffron patchouli it's got some honeyed oud. It's got juniper berries, which is what I love about this. I love the mix of saffron, juniper berry, and oud. And this oud is a Laotian oud, which means it's a Thailand wood oud, which is, I always call it jungle oud, because Laotian oud has a dark green, slightly camphorous, bitter, wet wood feel about it. Uh, it's a dark leafy green oud. 
with slight fruity nuances as well. So that really works well with the fruitiness of the oud. Those juniper berries and slight honey note in the base. So let's spray this. Oh, my mouth is just watering just thinking about it. There's a lot going on here. Hmm. So you get that uh, blueberry-like feel from the juniper berries. Slightly green, a little bit waxy when it comes into the uh, Laotian oud, which is a dark green oud. Very uh, smooth in the beginning. It doesn't come off as alcoholic or anything. This is a very nicely blended perfume in that it doesn't have a harsh opening. Uh, fruity like a blueberry, the honeyed note. Sweet patchouli wood is giving a masculine edge. I believe it has some oak moss in the base too. Give it a nice grounded feeling. A nice grounded woolly wooden um, feeling, woody feeling, let's say. There is a note of cognac in here as well, which is quite, I don't want to just say boozy, but it's syrupy sweet at the same time. Almost like there's cognac and brandy on here because it has a ambery sweetness about it, ambery um, uh, sort of Captain Morgan's golden um, rum uh, feeling about it, like there's whiskey no no the rum and cognac or something i said brandy because it has that sweetness about it and i think that's definitely uh helped by the cool nature of laotian oud and the dark green note of it so dark green waxy leafy uh notes of laotian oud with juniper berry there's some honeyed notes in the base. The cognac and brandy note is sweet, syrupy, a little bit boozy, very rich. And then the saffron comes in to just sweeten it up. It's a burst of sweetness amongst the woodied, honeyed and fruited uh, mix. So it's very rich, resinous, slightly fruity and honeyed. Definitely check this one out if you want to... Uh, dress to impress in formal occasions uh, or if you just want to add some warmth in a very unique way maybe a day or just like a, a daytime meal or something it'll be very unique intriguing spicy and alluring flagship two a great saffron scent i had to mention that the last one something that i wasn't going to mention but i've mentioned it a couple of times and i had to tell you again Givenchy only absolute is the one for me when it comes to go-to saffron scents it has a great uh, uh mineral sparkler sparkling mineral like sparkling uh, metallic bergamot note in the top uh, then the saffron and sandal would come in to make it very warming sort of by the fireplace kind of smell with uh, those mineral notes as well mineral like um, bergamot notes. Let me just get this in. Let's show me a place I sprayed. I've got to be careful with it. Yeah. So mineral like uh, bergamot, which is metallic and slightly, yeah, slightly sparkling but creamy soft at the same time because of the sandalwood. The saffron really works in here, really works to give that. Um, to give a little bit of heat with those um, metallic notes and it fuses very well with that creaminess of bergamot and then the sweetness of it is felt throughout in a very uh, sparkling ambery glowingly warm uh, sandalwood and vanilla mix all of the gentlemen only line have vanilla in the base but this has a very um, smooth creamy spicy and alluring um, saffron sandalwood and vanilla mix in gentlemen only absolute this is one of those fragrances that i when i was wearing ted baker xo i thought what would be an upgrade for this fragrance and i thought gentlemen only absolute uh, not taking any way anything away from 
uh, Ted Baker excerpts a great pimento and spicy woody scent, but the longevity leads much to be desired. I mean, it's about four hours longevity. And if you're going out in the daytime, definitely check out this one because it has that. Oh, I just realized that the light is shining through here. Usually you can't actually see through the bottle. It's the first time I've actually seen through the bottle, through the camera. <laughs> well, so it's a very spicy, alluring, and um, just, it's just such a nice warming scent. I mean, I just love it. I mean, that's why it's my go-to because it always works for me. So that's all the fragrances I have time for today. I've been talking about the sweet saffron fragrances, the slightly woody ones, the slightly oody ones, mixing cool notes, the original um, uh, dominators of the industry of saffron, Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> is being cloned uh, by Mansura for a great price of about, I mean, it's still about £140 for 120 mil. But uh, this is the best clone or best option if you're looking for Baccarat Rouge. So those are the sweet, powdery, sort of unisex saffron. And at the end of the day, you can't go wrong by adding some saffron to some traditional Oriental Arab oud. For that honeyed and fruity feeling and then you get the remakes of luxurious whiskey saffron fruit and jungle oud note and you have the more um, mainstream mass appealing ones with a little bit of a twist i think this is the most unique one of the most unique out of the la Mail line and i have bought quite a few other la Mail, so that's saying quite a thing but um this is the best warming la male that i have ultra male definitely check this one out and all the other fragrances out because i use them i love them and if you want to hear more about these fragrances please subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell if you can so you can always get the latest video take care and stay fresh